Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Ito Chapter Viewers. Today we have another rumor from KGI's favorite Ming Chi Ko. Um, and this one is actually about uh, the iPhone 10. And uh, this report states that Apple will discontinue the iPhone 10 rather than sell it at a lower price when the second generation model launches. So this year in 2018, we expect to see a new and updated iPhone 10. Alongside of that, we also expect to see an iPhone 10 Plus. Those probably won't be the names, but this iPhone 10 will be retired and they will not be dropping the price. It means possibly they could keep the name iPhone 10, I guess, because you know the old one would be discontinued, the new one would be up. But I also think that that might be unlikely. Uh, but again, these are both just rumors, so we'll have to see what happens there. But I'm gonna scroll down here just a bit and an excerpt from his research, iPhone 10 would hurt product brand value and lineup of the 2H18 new models if it continues to sell at a lower price after the 2H18 new models launch. Lowering the iPhone 10's price after the new models launch would be a negative to product brand value given 3D sensing and OLED display are features of the new high price model. Additionally, to sell iPhone 10 at a lower price may have a negative impact on shipments of the new 6.1 inch LCD. Uh, thus, we estimate the iPhone 10 will reach end of life around middle of 2018. So that's kind of crazy to think about because the iPhone 10 is a brand new phone pretty much and to think that its end of life is going to be middle of 2018. That was a quick run. So there are a couple different ways we could take this. This could mean the iPhone 10 design is going to be retired and they're actually going to, you know, maybe get rid of the notch or something like that for the 2018 model. I think that's unlikely, but we'll have to see. Um, secondly, this could just be in an effort to combat uh, price drops on this one so that people buy the 6.1 inch. Um, this is kind of uh, how the iPhone lineup could look. The SE would be 349. 7 and 7 Plus would be 450 and 569 respectively. 8 and 8 Plus would be 549 and 669 respectively. 6.1 inch with Face ID would be 650 to 750. And uh, the 5.8 inch second gen iPhone 10 uh, would be 1000 uh, like it is now. And the 6.5 inch would start at uh, 1100. So this is kind of how uh, Apple could set up their product line. Now I think it makes sense. Some people are saying, oh, the iPhone 10 is gonna be a collector's item now. Not so much, probably, um, but who knows? But the fact that this was a first gen of a new era kind of of Apple for their iPhones, I think it will actually be a little bit of a collector's item. So I'm glad I have one. Um, and I think the iPhone 10 II or the, whatever comes out this year is going to be just as good, uh, if not obviously a little bit better. Uh, however, I think it will be very similar to this one. So I think the 2019 is where we're going to see the big improvements uh, for the iPhone 10. So we'll have to wait and see on that. But I think this lineup actually makes sense. I don't know who would actually want this one. I mean, it's a bigger phone with an LCD screen, uh, probably, but just adding Face ID. But I know a lot of people go to the Verizon store or Apple store and they're looking to get the iPhone 10 or upgrade their phone and they get sticker shocked when they see, you know, a thousand dollar price tag for a phone. So maybe Apple will introduce the 6.1 inch uh, as, alongside all of these other phones just to kind of really they're hitting the market on almost all ends they got the low end low end low end uh, well I guess mid-range from here on through and then uh, upper premium range there so I don't know as long as Apple doesn't uh, segregate features and put you know only certain features on the big phone that no one actually wants to have to carry around you know keep everything uniform across these premium models and I'll be happy um, so that the people that want the 6.5 inch can get it and then those of us that are actually sane can get the 5.8 inch. But let me know your thoughts on this down below. Uh, the fact that they're actually going to discontinue this. I don't think it really makes much of a difference, at least for me as a consumer, because I never buy used phones. But for those of you that are actually going to sell your iPhone 10, you actually might be able to get a decent price if Apple doesn't sell refurb. So let me know your thoughts on this down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.